This is Super Fast Business with James Schramko. James Schramko. Helping you build your business super fast. 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 James Schramko here with an important announcement about my podcasts. Now, you're listening to superfastbusiness.com right now, and this is episode 553. You'll notice that's a high number. I've done quite a few podcasts here, and I've also done hundreds of other podcasts on other people's shows, and I had my own other podcasts. One of them you may have been familiar with is called Freedom Ocean, and that was actually the first podcast that I published on iTunes, and it's a very sentimental podcast. Uh, website for me. Uh, my good friend uh, Timbo and I recorded a whole bunch of podcasts there and in the end, you know, Tim got busy with stuff and the episode started slowing down a bit and we pulled that one up at episode 84 in April. So that podcast closed. It was a very popular podcast. It's still up there if you want to listen to it. If uh, you are starting out, it's going to be a handy podcast for you. Like go and listen to the first episode in 2011, it is a classic. Uh, so what I plan to do with that one is I'm going to go back and have a look at what the most popular episodes were and I'm going to address what's changed or where it is up to now because that really did start some time ago. It's about uh, six and a half years ago that it started. So a lot has changed but it was a lot of fun. Tim was such a friendly amazing co-host and we had some great experiences so it was a it was a ride but that one stopped and we got all the way to 84 episodes and we we recorded the last one in april so the other episodes that i've been recording up until recently uh, in a podcast was called think act get and for my co-host on that one was ezra firestone now, that podcast made it to 74 episodes and we did our last episode in October this month, 2017. We started that one way back in 2013. When I first met Ezra, he was doing okay, but not too well. And these days, if you look at where he's gone in five years, he's doing deca millions per year and he really needs to put his attention into his e-commerce business. So again, he was finding it a little bit hard to get behind the podcast because it was sort of taking him off direction. And we agreed just this week that it'd be a good idea for us to stop that podcast so that he can get on with that and I can get on with writing my book, which is called Work Less, Make More. And I'm going to be publishing that later this year, 2017. It's very close. It's written. I'm just tuning it. And I'm excited about that. So that podcast ended. Now, this podcast, uh, Think Act Get, would be really cool to listen to if you want to touch on some of the side areas of your life that not necessarily hardcore business. We talked about all sorts of things and we had so many laughs and Ezra is just a crazy guy. We talked about willpower and communication and community and balance. One of my favorites uh, from March 2013, that was episode eight. We find out about Ezra's banana addiction we talked about sex. Uh, we had his mum on the show for that one. Uh, we had my mum talking about uh, networking, episode twenty nine. So basically, we've we've <laughs> we had a lot of fun. So yeah, uh, we basically enjoyed that show, and it was a life changing show for me. It was through that show that we ran a retreat in Hawaii. Uh, four years ago and I started surfing so I, I'm not joking when I say think at get changed my life when I registered that domain originally I was reflecting on this acronym called ABC which is activator behavior consequence which is something that a, a trainer taught me as to why we do things there's an activator and then that causes a behavior and then there's a consequence and I sort of translated that into think Something happens and we, we think or we can think and then um, we act according to our thoughts and then that results in what we get. So that's where Think Out Get came from. It was an iconic show. We also introduced a super fan, Greg Merrilies, uh, who's a designer 
and the designer. He's designed the podcast logo that you're looking at right now if you're listening to this podcast on your iPhone or looking at it on the website. And he made a tribute video, which is worth watching. It's on uh, episode 74. Go ahead and look at that. We'll link to it from the show notes on this one. The other podcast that I have, uh, there's Kicking Back with Joel Osborne, and that was an adventure into comedy. And I know I'm not funny. I get it, right? But I am fascinated with comedians, and sometimes with the challenges that we have in life, it's good to have a laugh. And I became extraordinarily good friends with Joel. Every time he would come and visit, we would just spend the entire time laughing. And we thought it would be fun to have a show about absolutely nothing and just not take it too seriously. So we started that show, and the last time we recorded that, uh, that was uh, episode 22, at, as at this time. And that was some time ago, so it's kind of slowed right down. I think that was like, yeah, it was a long time ago. So I think that, I think kicking back's probably not happening anymore. Uh, but I will have to check in with, with Joel, but he's so tremendously busy with a very big project that he's working on. And so I just wanted to explain why that slowed down. We're still best mates and we go and have, don't tell him this, but we go and have uh, tea and scones at the QVB when he's in town. And that just doesn't sound very masculine, but this, they have gluten-free scones and the, the tea is great and it's easy for us to both meet at. So just keep that between you, me and the other 65,000 listens this month. The other podcast I had was Sales Marketing Profit. And that was an interesting one with Taki Moore. We started that show on a on a high where we sort of dominated the iTunes charts when it first went up. It was ranking number one everywhere, uh, which was very exciting. We did produce 30 episodes all the way up to the last one was actually over a year ago at this time. So I was chatting with Taki this week and I said hey listen I'm closing think at get freedom oceans closed I think I'd like to close sales marketing profit too and I would like to you know I'm going to put the case studies onto super fast business now um, the whole premise of that show was case studies Taki and I always have a great laugh when we catch up um, but often when we catch up we're not catching up to record or we, we catch up to record but end up not recording so with him being in virtually a different country every week and uh, me traveling a lot, it has been hard for us to line up with this. And for that reason, it's probably best that I put the case studies on uh, super fast business from now on. So you're going to see something interesting happen here. So I'm still going to invite my co-hosts back if they'll come on board for co-hosted episodes on super fast business here. So if you would like to hear from Ezra, or Taki, or Timbo, or Joel here at Superfast Business. I'd love it if you could just comment where this episode appears at superfastbusiness.com. If you go to episode 553, it's called Important Announcement. And leave a comment. That's the best place to let me know so that I can sort of get a gauge. You know, which podcast did you like the most? Uh, who would you like to have back as a guest, if any? What sort of podcast content would you like me to produce here? Because the two main types of content you're likely to find will be me doing a solo episode on a specific topic. And I have a lot of things that I really want to get off my chest. I've been storing and saving some of these things and I'm ready now to publish. In the last month of publishing, I had a huge reaction here. We had some very, very good episodes at superfastbusiness.com in the last month or so. And I'm specifically re referring to episode 552, seven tips to make sure you're being productive and never feeling guilty about taking time off. 551, I did a summary of your offer that converts, which I think is the single most important thing you need if you're going to be online. 550 was like off the hook. Perhaps you're measuring success wrong. That's when I really challenged this $10 million revenue goal. 549 was huge value with Clint Patterson. It was an OTR case study and how he went from selling ebooks to having a membership. 547 with Kevin Rogers from Copy Chief on OTR case study, how he went from freelancer to business owner. And then, of course, 546 was the new OTR. 
and that was tremendously popular. And even prior to that, I talked about in episode 545, which product or service should you focus on? So I'm now going to bring you more content. I'm also going to make more videos. I'll also have co-hosts when there's a particular topic that we need to talk about. And often there will be case studies. I like case studies. It proves to you that I know what I'm talking about. It also is a great opportunity for my case study participant to to get a platform. You would have no idea how many people email us every day trying to get on this show. I get book authors. I get prolific marketers suggesting that I get them on the show, that they speak to you, that you'd get great value from them. But a lot of the time, I don't really agree with what they're doing. I don't think they've got anything particularly useful. I'm not sure how useful it is for you to hear from a 23-year-old who found the formula for success, you know, blah, blah, blah. Seriously, go and have a few kids and come back in a decade and then tell me about success. So I'm not going to just let anyone on here, but I would like to know what you'd like to know about. I could talk about so many things. So what sort of format do you like? What do you want me to talk about? Do you like videos? Do you like audios? Do you want some of my old co-hosts back? Which series did you like of the series? I've had everyone here from Andre Chaperon through to Johnny Deacon. Do you want to go more into the lifestyle stuff, lifestyle design, those sort of things? Do you want to go more into the hardcore business stuff? I'm here for you. I'm going to put more energy into this show because it's the only show that I've got. So we're going to up the frequency, up the quality. And I'm going to start with the very next episode, episode 554. I'm going to be speaking with Jared Robinson. We're going to do a case study of seven ways to boost your membership. So if you have a membership, you want to get onto that episode. So that's my important announcement. I hope this is pleasing to your ears. Uh, I'm James Shramko. You're listening to superfastbusiness.com, which is my only podcast now, and I hope it's going to be a good one. Discover how to build your business super fast. Check out superfastbusiness.com.